All right, welcome back to this week's edition of the Tech Corner. I'm George Tillis, Senior Markets Contributor here with the Schwab Network. Today, we're going to revisit AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. This is the second time we've talked about it here on the Tech Corner. If you want to watch the first edition of the AMD segment we covered back in May, you can click above. Now, AMD is a legacy global semiconductor company that designs and produces a wide array of semiconductor products, including microprocessors, graphics processing units known as GPUs, CPUs, which are central processing units, as well as AI accelerators. Now, AMD's data center segment focuses on high-performance GPUs, targeting artificial intelligence and machine learning workloads. The client segment includes CPUs for enhancing performance for desktops and notebooks, while its gaming segment delivers discrete GPUs and semi-custom system-on-the-chip technologies for products and gaming consoles. Now, the last segment is its embedded segment, which serves a diverse range of industries, including automotive, industrial, factory automation, as well as healthcare applications. Now, the company is actively involved in the development of adaptive computing technologies and software stacks, positioning itself as a leader in the high-performance computing solutions markets. The company follows a fabulous manufacturing model, leveraging partnerships with manufacturers like Taiwan Semiconductor for production. Now, in terms of competition, AMD competes primarily in the semiconductor space with major competitors, including Intel Corporation, primarily against their CPU chips, NVIDIA, of course, in the GPU realm, as well as ARM and Qualcomm in mobile chipset technologies and custom silicon solutions. Now, AMD's unique value proposition lies in its innovative architecture and competitive pricing, which appeals particularly to AI and data center markets. Strategic partnerships, such as the one I'll talk about in a moment with OpenAI, further enhances its market position by leveraging cutting-edge technologies to address emerging AI workloads and requirements. Lastly, acquiring Xilinx back in 2022 brought together complementary product offerings, including field programmable gate array technologies, alongside CPUs and GPUs, making AMD a unique player in the horizontal semiconductor stack. Now, in recent news, going back to August, the company delivered its fiscal second quarter revenue and EPS. The revenue came in ahead of estimates, where sales rose double digits year over year. However, non-GAAP EPS declined by 30%. Now, the EPS decline alongside gross margin contraction were impacted by about an $800 million in inventory reserves due to export controls on China shipments. Despite these export hangups, data center revenue actually grew 14% year over year, but slowed from recent quarters due to that foregone Chinese revenue loss. Now, most importantly, recently, back on the 6th of October, AMD and OpenAI announced a six gigawatt agreement to power OpenAI's next generation infrastructure across multiple generations of AMD Instinct GPUs. In addition to this multi-year agreement, AMD issued OpenAI a warrant that would enable OpenAI to acquire up to 10% of AMD stock. The stock will be acquired in tranches that will correlate with these deployments. Now, in terms of positives for AMD, there are many to consider. First off, AMD's strong growth in the data center segment driven by demand for Epic server processors and GPUs highlights its increasing role in AI infrastructure. The company's partnership with OpenAI is expected to significantly boost its data center revenue growth, positioning AMD as a key player in artificial intelligence. The strategic agreement with OpenAI, which includes that performance-based equity incentive, further validates AMD's AI roadmap and strengthens its credibility in the AI space. From a technology standpoint, AMD's Instinct GPUs have shown competitive performance against NVIDIA's offerings, making AMD a viable alternative for major AI players looking to diversify their supplier base. Lastly, from a profitability standpoint, AMD shows strong profitability with net income margins of over 9.5%, far exceeding the sector net income average of 4.5%, which is more than double. This indicates AMD's efficiency in converting revenue into profits. Now, despite many positives from AMD, let's also address some of the concerns once again. While AMD boasts impressive trailing growth and profitability, its high valuation remains elevated both relative to sector peers as well as to its own five-year average. Now the stock is trading at almost a forward multiple of 61 times earnings, where the sector median is around 25 times, but also trading significantly above its five-year average of around 38 times earnings. This high valuation multiple reflects steep growth expectations, which may not necessarily be sustainable if AI demand slows or if execution risks materialize, potentially impacting the stock's performance. AMD may also face meaningful challenges from U.S.-China export controls impacting future financial performance. Despite strong AI infrastructure spending, AMD continues to struggle against the technological prowess of NVIDIA in artificial intelligence. Lastly, AMD's partnership with OpenAI involves a dilutive equity structure, creating potential risk for long-term shareholders. Now let's take a look at the technical picture for AMD. 
first off, the recent price action for AMD has improved significantly, up over 47% since the OpenAI partnership announcement in early October. Looking at the three-year weekly price chart, we can see the stock is now trading above the highs of $225, back established in 2024, to new all-time highs. Despite the magnanimous move we've seen in AMD, the price is trading well above the 10, 20, and 50-day moving averages, and also above 80 on the RSI indicator, suggesting the stock may pull back or consolidate before resuming the bullish uptrend. Now, in summary, AMD emphasizes innovation through its adaptive computing, high-performance product portfolios, aiming to lead in artificial intelligence technology across cloud, edge, and end devices. Partnerships with hyperscale cloud providers may further strengthen its competitive edge, allowing it to address the evolving future demands of artificial intelligence in high-performance computing markets. In past years, AMD has gained meaningful global market share in CPUs for data center and client technologies at Intel's expense. However, NVIDIA's GPU revenue is many times out of AMD. While AMD may never catch up to NVIDIA, it is positioned to remain the clear number two in the GPU space for AI infrastructure, cemented by the recent OpenAI partnership for years to come. Now that's it for this week's edition of the Tech Corner. Please like and subscribe to the Schwab Network. I'm George Tillis. We'll see you next time.